Hi buddy, welcome. Uh, today I am at Nuclear Blast uh, to do their, their usual obstacle course, the one I come every year to do. Now, today is very special for lots of different reasons. Um, no, it's a little bit sad actually. This is the last Nuclear Blast and later on is the last Nuclear Blackout. Everything is changing after this day. So we're here to come and give it our very best to give it the best send off we possibly can. The weather is nice, the company is good, the atmosphere is buzzing. All we want to do is get out onto this course uh, and just give it our very best shot. So uh, we're going to reminisce as we go around today on our adventures uh, from previous races, uh, as well as sort of making new memories today at this one, which is what these races are all about. Baby. <laughs> a little bit initiated, it's fine. Okay, so the start, like any start, is just a couple of obstacles just to get us split up and uh, single file. <laughs> <laughs> I'm panicking back to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna just record James around this entire thing, he's bound to hurt himself. <laughs> Oh, that's thick, isn't it? Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Ah, that piece of mud we just went through last year, uh, I came a cropper and slipped, went sideways, and half my face, half my body was completely caked in that thick sludgy mud. I mean, that stuff, right? Uh, and it stinks. Oh man, it stinks. Oh shit! Love you! Come on, Jim! Okay, so I have to get asked how do you keep your camera clean? It's like this. Oh, almost got chin. <laughs> they do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, my... oh, that's deep. Okay, that's the edge. Oh, no. That's now a trip. So, if you've ever been through a piece of mud, you'll know there's a little booby trap just before that log. Great. It caught us out the first time. you got to get up at the right time. That, that rope swing back there, every single time that I've ever come to this thing, I've fallen in. I sat on the knot this time. It's all right. So, you may notice that we wear the Nucleus Striders tops. Uh, these are the local running club for nuclear races. They have an organised running club. Like you get in a lot of places. When we first showed up, 
few years back and we were all new to nuclear blast was our first event so we went to the merch tent felt a little bit, little bit left out because we didn't have a top like everybody else and we bought these because we liked the look of them it was only at the next event did we realize we'd bought the running club vest uh, and every time someone saw us they assumed we were in the running club even people that were in the running club uh, all right and we made friends that way so this obstacle is actually quite a bit of genius it's a climbing obstacle and then a balancing obstacle and then it's a half pipe slide obstacle into water perfect okay it's not exactly meant for tall folks There's normally a bit more buoyancy. So these races are notorious for their mud, right? We love mud and all that. <laughs> well, here's some of that mud. It takes a village! <laughs> Go on, Jim. <laughs> Yeah, don't want to do this for much longer. A new, new event, new event for the Olympics LA is a little. That's enough of that. Good. Are you alright? Is that the deep end, love? <laughs> oh. Okay, so sometimes there's foam at nuclear races. I think this is very foam's up a definite plus at things like this. Come on, marshmallow men! second time and we've got seven minutes to spare so potentially now we can go again and there's no potential about it we are going again uh, so third lap uh, let's go we've got the Chevrolet to do first though Carlos keep running Lap three. Lap three. <laughs> so, lap three. Uh, we did one lap where we did everything to the rules. Lap two 
was a fast lap so we could get back just in time to start our third lap now because this is the very last blast i'm really going to enjoy this lap that might mean i just take it easy we walk around we take it in there's something about it being the last one that makes me just want to chill for this one it's a beautiful day i'm out with my wife and my friends that's kind of what this event's about nuclear family isn't it so the last lap i ran without the gopro right that's why there's no footage of the middle lap um, and that's because every time i come to blast every time i come to any race i have the camera in my hand and that makes climbing and navigating these courses just that little bit more difficult so i thought just for this one time i'd put the camera down and enjoy it like everybody else and it was great why would people choose not just choose pay money to come to places like this put themselves through all sorts of physical exertion i mean this bag is like 30 kilograms and this is the third time that i've bought this bit with it uh, but it's fun it is fun <laughs> oh. oh no i went too deep no i'm cook <laughs> that's heavy <laughs> <laughs> Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have a shame, it's no time yeah. for the pain, for the grind, make the change, in my mind, make the lane, come in and climb, the only way, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, put your hand to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life. I just think you fall in. So, why did we come and do nuclear races in the first place? Well, we'd exhausted all the local OCR runs um, and we started to look around and we saw the videos for Nuclear Blast and we decided that we wanted to give it a try. So, several years ago, four years ago, 20, 2021, we came two and a half hours down the motorway to come to Nuclear Blast. We liked it so much, we've been every year since, every rush since, and we've even took in a couple of fallouts. Breath. I'd rather read than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said No, no, go bro! How's it supposed to feel? How's it supposed to feel? Everybody, we have not long finished our three laps of nuclear blast uh, it equated to about 10 miles in the end on the watch um, 
and it was great. Uh, we did the first one, we went through every obstacle, we did absolutely everything. Uh, on the second lap, um, we had to sort of just do the highlight bits because we wanted to get back to the start line in, in time to do a third lap. And the third lap, uh, I wanted to take it all in um, for what it was. And we went round slowly, we did everything, but we went round slowly. Uh, um, and now, as the sun is sort of dropping in the sky, have a chance to reflect on the event in its entirety. Um, we took a chance to come down to, to Essex from Leicester, about two and a half hours in the car, um, to, to have a go at this event. It was Blast that we came to first, um, and we fell in love with it. We fell in love with this race, we fell in love with the mantra, the brand, everything about it. Um, and it's such a lovely, some lovely thing to be a part of, a lovely day to be a part of. I look around and there's still adventures being had now as kids are coming out the foam pit behind me uh, and I sort of think about all of the, the people that have been around this course. Um, this, this particular event, Blast, has been, been running for over 10 years. Um, that's somewhere between 15 and 20,000 people that have done many thousands of laps here um, and they've created memories and they've crafted experiences and adventures here and many people like me have fallen sort of in love with this this particular event and it's it is sad to sort of close the door on it the, to sort of say it's the end of a chapter now the next year at this time on the september event there is going to be a, a different type of event and it's it's been it's coming in from a completely different tact altogether um it's called well, it's called Mud Tribe collectively, and inside Mud Tribe there is a Mud Mister, a Mud Sister, and a Family Wave. Uh, so there's a Boy Wave, a Girl Wave, and then a, a Family, which also in, in, encompasses the, the groups, so the mixed gender groups. Now, because they are sort of absorbing the rookies into this as well, it means that the course will be simplified and shortened, which means it won't be exactly the same as it is now. There's, there's no getting around that. There's no skirting around that. That's exactly what's going to happen. I've had lots of wonderful memories here, most of which have been with my good wife. Um, and I brought lots of friends as well. Uh, I remember coming here the first time uh, and thinking, wow, I'm coming back next year to do this. And then I, th I thought that the next year and the next year. Uh, and I'm very glad I did. I'm very glad I made the effort uh, every September to come down and race with these people because everything about this event um, has just been wonderful. And I can't speak higher of, 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 of nuclear races. Um, so as the sun sets, um, I take my hat off to you, uh, everyone that's involved in putting these nuclear blasts together over all these years. And there's just one last thing to say that from sort of Holly and myself is that we've had a blast. It's been an absolute blast. Um, Watch out.